Thanks, Sasha. We're checking in with the Caldwell County School System today with Superintendent Dr. Samuel DePaul. Thanks for being here this morning. You're welcome. Well, let's talk about the construction that's going on at Caldwell County High School. Okay, well, we're real excited, obviously. We have a new high school that's uh, under construction right now. Probably six weeks into the construction, it's on uh, site development uh, first. That's the first phase. Several years ago, uh, the board's wisdom and the administration's uh, wisdom was to create Packer Park, which is an athletic complex, but a tract of land was also dedicated to a future high school. And so probably after the last 18 months or so of uh, planning and work with our architect, the Department of Education, uh, plans were finally approved uh, back before the Thanksgiving holiday and uh, construction commenced at that point. Why was this high school needed, this new high school? Well, from what I understand, the current high school has a lot of issues in terms of structural and uh, climate, things of that nature. Uh, it's about 35 years old from what I understand. Uh, I'm only in my second year here in the county. Uh, but this has been planned, obviously, for uh, several years. When do you think it'll be ready to go? Well, the plans are to have it open for August of 15. Okay. Uh, our architect allows for 24 months of actual construction uh, with the hopes that it could be completed within 20 months. But weather, supplies, things of that nature all have an impact on uh, the construction time schedule. Okay, good. Well, we're going to be back in just a moment to learn more about some great news with the Colquitt County School System. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. That's right. We're back with the Colquitt County School System Superintendent, Dr. Samuel DePaul. And we want to talk now about graduation rates. Okay, well, uh, obviously you have to have students come to school and stay in school to right. uh, achieve and uh, be successful and we're real pleased with our graduation rates as they have uh, progressed over the last several years. Uh, we were at a low at one time at about 49 percent but our recent uh, last year rate uh, was 81 percent which is a gigantic uh, jump and so we're real excited about that. In fact today uh, the state is going to release last year's statistics, okay. and we're anticipating uh, even a higher uh, rate for our high school students. What are things you've done to increase those graduation rates? Well, we do a lot of interventions at the um, middle and junior high school levels because obviously uh, that's the basis for where they get into high school. Uh, at the elementary levels, the attendance rates are in the high 90s, uh, and uh, one of the things that we do have uh, as a district we have about a 95% uh, average daily attendance. But again, uh, at the elementary schools, uh, they're upwards in the 96, 97% rate. So we want to try to continue that uh, through the middle, junior high, and high school years. How about enrollment trends? Well, our enrollment has been, uh, again, gaining steadily over the last several years. Uh, probably over 1,000 students since the early uh, 2000s. Uh, just from this past May to this school year here starting, we had uh, an additional 110 students. And that's been about the norm, 100 students a year. And more than likely, next August, we'll have another 100 students across the district. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And we look forward to hearing more wonderful things to come out of the Colquitt County School System. And congratulations on getting all those graduation and enrollment rates up. <laughs> that's fantastic news. Thank you. Appreciate We're going to go on over to Sasha now to see who she's talking with.